So if you've watched some of my recent videos, you've seen that I've been running a little bit of a different offense. And really, this is out of the Green Bay Packers playbook, but it's a combination of kind of a lot of different offenses that we've ran throughout the year. And dude, I'll be 100% honest with you. This is probably, besides the beginning of the year, the best I've felt on offense. And additionally, I also think this is, this, this is the best style of offense that you could run. Now, the reason we're running Packers playbook over something like Jets, which they are very similar, is that Packers has the actual gun trips tight end, which I really, really like, um, whereas Packers has trips tight end offset. They're a little bit different. Can you accomplish the same things out of both of them? Eh, give or take, yeah, but I really do like this. Along with, this has some under center stuff that I really like for the red zone, so Packers playbook is what we're rocking, and really the main things we're rocking in this is bunch strong offset, bunch tight end, and then we're running a lot of trips tight end too. I'm also trying to sprinkle in some bunch wide. We're going to run out of time here, so I'm going to just actually just snap a play as fast as we can here. Um, the goal of this is this is game one of a all-man season. We're in Legend Division, all that good stuff. And I'm going to break down pretty much every single game throughout the season in a series of videos, talking about different plays, highlighting key things, and really just trying to give you guys a lot of value here in these videos for how I run my offense. We're immediately going to go with the inside zone. Typically, we want the... Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, we have to pitch. We got somebody. Go. Six. Six. No! Oh, we just lost the highlight. Kenny, 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 Kenny. Oh, wow. That would have been... I'm sick. I'm actually, like, depressed right now. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Um. That This is going to take a little bit for me to get over. I'm not going to lie to you. Wow. I just had to make that guy miss, and we didn't. Jeez. All right, let's call a corner strike out of this. One cool thing about the play corner strike from Bunch Strong Offset is this outside guy's on a short corner, which can sometimes be tough. Boom, he, we saw a man covered, so we're going to put a tight end post on the field. If you ever see man, you can put a tight end post, and it's going to cook man coverage pretty consistently. Right here, he's actually going to check out of it. So we're audible over to Durham. And Durham's a cool play. It's very similar to a bunch of verticals. You're going to run it a little bit differently. But, I mean, you can see how this is just like regular gun bunch verticals, but instead bunch strong. One of the cool things out of this as well is that this will cancel any kind of match coverage. Can we dot that? Dot! We'll go for two as well. Let's go under center here. Uh, what do we want to do? Can we just call... Let's see what the stretch. The stretch. I'm going to call the stretch a couple of times, actually. I really like some of the other runs from under center, but I'm still learning the playbook. I've been in it for about a week. If you really want to fully learn a playbook, dude, I think to first get comfortable with something... You got to run it for about a week, give or take. Or you just got to... Jeez, we got blown up. You got to run it for at least a week. Or you have to just get so many reps. Like, I honestly, in a matter of a week, I've probably played 50 games. So, I mean, you can figure... <laughs> it's a lot of games per day that we've played in Packers Playbook. But it's because of Mutt Head League, which we're also playing on this channel, which against me playing against the top players literally in the world, which is, you know, a good time. Man, I've really enjoyed this. I think it gives us a lot of different options. We have some really good runs. We have some really good passes. We're able to hit the meta in a bunch of different ways, in my opinion. And whenever you're able to do that, it's like, it, like, it's it, it's tough to beat an offense like that, right? I am a little bit upset that we're not running. He's an empty trip speed. Okay. It does suck a little bit that we're not running double post right now. I just don't think it like it. it, it it's still really good. If you are sitting in Eagles playbook or Colts playbook and you're running double post still at this point, you you, you are fine. Like you will do a good job. I want to be very clear about that. You can still win a lot of games doing that. I don't know if I think it's the best option for playing comp right now. I and, and that might just be a me thing. And again, like you'll see dudes running it, right? Decroft, one of the best man players in the world year after year is running it right now. So it's important to think that, right? Or important to keep that in mind. There's more than one way to skin the cat, as they say. As my old football coach used to say, Kenny, more than one way to skin the cat. I didn't understand what he meant at the time, but now I do. And he's right. There's one, more than one way to skin the cat. So do with that what you will. So boom. Let's see. You know, attack this. So he's actually kind of attacking us pretty well. Um, I'm not I'm not liking what he's doing. My A gap just isn't coming in, which is frustrating. This guy is rocking Kyler Murray, which is hilarious. You guys, you, you'll get some monsters at 4 a.m. man. Boom. Oh, wow. We missed. Let me check in a dollar. I really be rocking between. Okay, we're not going to. He wants to go as fast as possible. Got it. I really be rocking between dollar and and three four. And I found that most people have an issue with one of the two. Boom, pressure. There we go. A little five man. 
four man wills and come with five man wills. You can go hurry up. I mean, this dude's a fucking monster. Like, he's a maniac. Jeez, dude. Let's relax. And we're just going to do this again. Sure. Come on. Let's see what you got here. Go get him again. Go get him. Go eat. Go eat, king. Pick, 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 pick. Ah, oh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, but... I'm a big believer on defense. You know, we will try to touch on some defensive stuff throughout this, but I'm a big believer that on defense, you want to just keep things as basic as possible and, you know, really just make minor adjustments to the base shells that you want to run. So kind of have, you know, the stuff that you want to run and then just make, literally make minor adjustments around it. You see right there, able to get the pick. He moved down the field pretty well on us. We were able to get some pressure on him. Let's go spin move inside. The spin move is so terrible, but it's low-key good in this game. It really, really is. Let's stick in bunch strong offset another formation i like in this i'm not running that much is tight y off and tight off weak just for whatever that's worth but let's go here you know in a lot of games i i catch myself all the way around a lot and the way you want to do that is literally like as fast as possible if you're going to audible you want to i mean I, you don't 100 have to but this can freeze up their adjustments sometimes on defense i hate that it's in the game but it is in the game so like you see me immediately audible He's in man coverage. We're going to run this play right here. I broke this play down on Twitter, actually. PA boot over, tight end post. Four routes that can beat man coverage. One of them's going to win. See, bang. Ooh, he got some actually pretty good pressure right there. If he's in that same coverage, though, I'm going to go back to the same play. If you just, I mean, yeah, if you run a play that has four routes that beat man coverage and they run man coverage, I mean, you're going to get something open. Like, you just will. Let's see here. Boom. Yeah, you see this time, tight end post is wide open. And that's just some of the inconsistencies with man coverage in this game. Get away. Let's go turbo, 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 turbo. If he just sits in man coverage, let's go this time. Something like this. Durham. He's in. Okay, boom. We have RB. Good catch. Debo, bang. Stay in bounds, brother. Stay in bounds. We're just like that. We're down to the 10-yard line. This offense is high-powered, and I love things that just that, that space the field really well and make the reads easy for you. It's a big part of all the offenses that we make. I'm really bad at making, like, congested reads, for lack of a better word. Oh, get out of there. I think we might fumble. We did not. I really thought we would, actually. You know, anything that has a lot of meshing or meshing or, like, routes that are right next to each other, I really do struggle with. So a lot of my stuff has to be kind of specific to keep that away from happening. Boom, dot, touchdown. Cool. Love to see it, love to see it, love to see it. He honestly did a good enough job against Dollar in that first drive where I'm going to go. I mean, he's the type of dude, you got to identify this quick. He's the type of dude where, like, if we just go coverage on him, right, just cover four, like, dude, beat it. This is literally the type of guy where I'm like, just just beat the coverage, brother. I'm going to pass commit here because he clearly isn't running. Get better sheds with the pass commit. And just, hey, dude, like, can you beat it or not? Let's go boom. He's not going to. And you see, that's a good example of, like, that like those routes were open that crosser he wanted to hit kind of late was open but all of his routes think about how long all that stuff took to develop like it took at least what three four seconds for anything to start to develop and it's like you just can't can't run an offense like that boom even right there again like look how long it takes for anything to develop and then we have a hook curl there we're gonna be able to take a good let's see if we can score a touchdown before the end of the first actually this is gonna be a tough one we're gonna go bunch tight end for this we're going to have a video specifically talking more about Bunch tight end. Again, this is a series of of uh, an entire head-to-head -head season, so keep that in mind. And it's going to be a couple videos per, or a couple games per video. Do we have it? Oh, it's going to be tough. Uh, touchdown. All right, not a rookie. This, this one, let's see if he quits out. This one's getting dark quick. GG's, brother. Game two. Boom. Let's just see what he does. He shouldn't get time. He has, he might, he does not get time. Boom. And that's what, like, that's why I like it. Because that pressure, that pressure is faster, faster than like DB fire and dollar. But I don't, I, I don't know yet if it's better. If that makes sense. If it's better or if it's, uh, I don't know. Like it's something I'm just kind of running at certain downs right now. You see again, pressure that time doesn't come in. Can we, Derwin, can we not give up the flat when you are a flat defender, please? Jeez. I'd be sick if we could just defend that. And I also, I need better run defense from this, truthfully. Surprise, like, my... Jeez. We're really in goal line on the third play of the game. Heck yeah, brother. QB sneak on... Okay. I mean, that is... Th this, this might be a Super Bowl. Jesus. All right. Two 
Just because of that, we're locked now. We're freaking locked. Oh, man. Come on, boom. Let's go. Give me, show me something. Show me something right here. A little five-man cover two. Just got to be aware of potential corner routes. You can go underneath. Bang. Ah. Uh. If he wants to keep... I mean, man, honestly, if he wants to keep on doing that, that's fine. I I just think it's a hard way to live, truthfully. In my humble opinion. Does he run this ball? No, he's passing again. Good D. Mine. Thank you. I told you it's a hard way to live. Boom. Boom. Good job, Fred Warner. Good job, my dog. Now, let's get back into what we want to do. I'm not going to send my audibles this game. I usually would for, like, comp games, but in head-to-head, -head, I don't do it too much. And we're going to call it double corners. Now, this route combo, double corners, consists of one deeper corner goes in going around 25 yards and one shorter corner going around 15 yards. So the way we're going to do it right here is let me set up the route combo first. Just look at the right side. You see short corner going about, I guess this goes about 20 yards, yeah, give or take. And this one goes about 25, 30 yards. And they space out well enough to where they actually beat zone coverage quite a bit. Now, I could super flood that right sideline with like flat and then an in route or something. Kind of up to you. And then, boom, we're able to do that pretty quickly. But you typically want to run this to the wide side of the field. And you can do it out of a bunch of different plays, right? It's just that general concept. You can do it out of a regular gun bunch. You can do this out of other compressed sets. Uh, but it's really just that generalized concept. And then you can start making the read between those two corner routes. That's so something where just the way zones react in this game, you can, you, you can do it consistently. You really can. For whether or not you love it or hate it. I'm not going to add my input on that. Go boom. Let's see double corners. And right here, where he's actually going to run match. Or not match, but that was a curl flat, I think. But you see right there, we're able to hit the underneath corner. Boom. And now, right, we have something like that. And we can now attack the other sideline with a play like dagger, right? This scheme, same with the 3-4 odd. We're, they're not out yet on Simple.gg, but they're going to be out here very shortly. So if you want full breakdowns of everything where I'm in practice mode, breaking down read by read, step by step, play by play, like the best setups for everything, let's go throw that. Come down to it. Good catch. Uh, that's going to be on Simple.gg. We have over 1,000 active members right now. So if you want to join a community of people who are still grinding Madden in March right now, which is freaking awesome, this is the best time to get better, check out the link in the description below. Uh, you'll get 25% off using code PREMIUM, by the way. And, I mean, it's simple as that, boys. Like, you will get significant. Oh, you get tackled from your cankles. But you'll, you'll get significantly better. Like, the, I think 90, man, I always forget the exact numbers. Like, 99.2% of people said they, of our members that we surveyed, said they got better after joining us, which is just an insane, an insane number, in my opinion. I'm very proud of what we've done over there. But, yeah, those will be live over there here soon. Let's go to this. Okay. Boom. Get in there. Oh, oh, I've never seen that animation before. That was fire. Do we go... What do we have from Deuce Close? Do we have Stretch from Deuce Close? We do. I might start calling this a little bit. I, I really haven't messed with this at all. It's just part of... Like, I remember, man... In Madden 20, I sat in the same playbook for, like, six months. And the stuff I learned... I'd, like, I would learn stuff in month six. and Which sounds dumb, but it's, like, hyper-specific stuff, right? Because you can learn some base plays pretty early... But then, like, oh, this is this run is really good against this formation. And the only way you know that is by a, a million reps just trying random things. So, that kind of uh, is a testament to, like, sitting in one playbook or something like that for a long time. Which is something I haven't done in a while. Which really is just because of, like, content stuff, dude. I used to run bunch tight end every single play back in, like, Madden 21. And... I knew so much about that playbook that I was in at the time, but so many people were like, dude, you got to run something different. This sucks to watch, which is so fair, which is why you see me switch up when I run so much now. I'll just we record videos every single day, right? Every day we record videos, so. Boom, boom. Let's send some crazy pressure. I'm even going to shade down. See, if I'm going to send pressure like that, I need that to, like, get in faster. You know what I'm saying? That has to get in faster. I almost need like a like that to a gap really. Let's go boom 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 boom. But like right here, I'm sending six. I was like, dude, we got an a gap. Yeah, we're not. Oh oh man, my my mid zones didn't work right there. I mean, is that really the read he's he's gonna consistently make on me? I mean, don't throw it. Don't no no no. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Does he not have? Wait a second. What are his abilities? Oh, my God. Holy. Dude, who am I playing? 
I don't even know what to say about that. Who am I playing right now? Dude, get a set feet lead on him or some. What the? F Why? No. This is some kid staying home from school. This is what this is. One million percent. Okay. Well, with that being the new discovery. Boom. I mean, he could have thrown a touchdown if he wanted to. I literally gave him a free touchdown. Fred Warner, second pick of the game. Fred Warner is slow. He, he, he's tough to use her, but his ability stack is, is so nice where it's, it's tough to not use him. All right, let's get after it. Boom. Oh, he sends pressure. We're going to go quick throw. That's why Bo Jackson is so nice with traditional four. He, his release is just so good, dude, which lets you get a lot of balls like that out. Come on, come on. Hey. This is a play dagger where, like, I see – jeez, I just – delayed game. I see so many people call this play dagger, and I'm just not very good at throwing it yet. I'm really not. Against, like, a lot of stuff, I'm just really bad at throwing it, which sucks, but I am. This crosser, and e I never throw the tight end, which is a big part of the play. We have the drag, but, like, the drag's easy to throw. And, jeez, I really just I hate myself. The drag's obviously easy to throw. It's the crosser that I keep on messing up, and I can never throw the backside the like, tight end in. I actually, I'm going to, like, purposely try labbing it here. Boom. We have the crosser. That's fine. Oh, or, I'm sorry. We had the drag. I throw it late this time just because he actually took away the crosser the entire time. But, I mean, that's, like, obviously the easy throw in that. Genuinely speaking, because of how hard it is for me to throw the crosser, and I've missed this throw in a lot of comp games. I talked about this in our breakdowns. What if I just put him on a post instead? Like, does this space out well? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. We got this glitch. Jeez. That's fire. That was fire. Okay, well, now we're in a bad spot. Please don't do that again. Please don't. Boom. Sense pressure. Post is going to be there. But you see that the, the spacing be now between the post and the tight end route isn't great. That's why the crosser is better, unless the tight end, like, really takes his time. Let's see if we can... Let's just see what happens right here. I smart routed the tight end route. Yeah, you see right here, like, they're so close together. Jeez. Can we make the throws, please? He just wants to send man coverage. Look, we'll go PA, but... I mean, like, this is, like, the easiest way to be... Man coverage is doing this right here. This play, they have to adjust so much to defend this play. They just can't. And he's actually in zone now, so we might... Yeah, we're bagged. We're bagged. We're bagged. We're bagged. We're bagged. He wasn't a man anymore. Good job by him. We're getting bagged by somebody with uh, his defensive abilities are Ripper, Ripper, and Lumberjack. Fire. And I just called the same play again for no reason. We're bagged. We're bagged. We're bagged. This is a man beater, not a zone beater. Skirt. Skirt. Oh, God, boys. Let's pull our head out of our butt, please. You know what I need to start doing from this is utilizing this right here. Motion him across. Yeah, 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 I don't ever do this, but I should. Because that, that throw. Boom. Good. I just got thrown a little bit sooner, I think. This is one of my favorite red zone plays, boys. Don't steal it unless you want to. Let's go roll. Can we get outside? Okay, we can't get outside. We have the route open, but we could not get outside of them. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Dang. Can I? I don't know if I actually will be able to roll out on what he's doing. Let's try it again. Okay, I want to hit B, MVS. B on the sideline is like the goal, but his alignment is going to make it really hard. Boom. Quick throw. Okay, got it. Good job, Marshawn. Gift wrapped on the QB is always a big deal. The abilities are rocking. Uh, I should have said this earlier probably, but we are rocking... Set feet lead, gunslinger, howl master, gift wrapped. That's what we're doing right now. 
Let, let, let me show you guys. How I Master Gunslinger, Roaming Deadeye as well. Yeah. And I just have like zero AP abilities. I do have evasive, or I'm sorry, jukebox on what's his nuts. Boom. Nice. Nice. But yeah, see how I can't see my orange kick meter thing? I don't know why that is. I have no idea. It, I have abilities on Jake Elliott, but I can't imagine that's why, is it? Dang, he got that? It's unfortunate. It's gonna stop, boys. All right, this is where we gotta... See, I need that thing to scream, man. And it, sometimes it does. We watched an earlier scream, but like sometimes it doesn't. So it leads me to believe, like, is there a way to get the scream better? It's like right here. I'm actually so curious if we just we spread her. Nah, that's not a great pick. Thank you. We're gonna pitch it back. Fred Warren. No, Fred. 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 Let's see. Is he quitting? This is GG's from the kid. No, it's not. I haven't really tried this, but this is bunch wide. And I'm curious what this route combo looks like. Because this, in theory, could be good. <sighs> they just get so close to each other. A and the crosser do. And, like, that was a cool, it's honestly a cool play. But I need them not to get so close to each other if that's what we're going to do. What can we do? Is there, I'm so curious. We could do branch return. That could be a cool play. Uh, let's do branch return because branch return is very similar to smash return then in this case so if we do like this little thing right here check this check this check this yeah so I look at this play right here here we go boom A is going to sit actually we're going to have RB boom yep it's got to make a miss. Bang. Ah, come on. Stay in. MVS, stay in. Is there a world where we have a rollout play from here? Is it possible? I'd love it, but I don't think we will. I'm going to try. that play is based on you know we're in bunch wide but we're just doing something that people do out of gun bunch we're just applying it right that's something a lot of, you can you can do in a lot of different stuff Jeez, all of these routes just i had two routes i thought would run back across the back of the end zone and they just didn't at all Jeez. uh let's do this verticals boom dot 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 and he has quit out of the game ggs Game three, he is returning this with Maurice Jones Drew. You know what's so interesting is that last dude had a good, like he had a high overall team. He just, he just did not do anything with it. Huh. Let's try out some 5-2. Is there a world where this is tough? Probably not. But I mean, I'm not flash blitz. I mean, this seems like something that could just get nasty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hello six man. Oh, pressing just ruined that, shoot. Go get him. Go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? No, no. Yes. All right. We might have something here. We screamed at him. We didn't hit him for some reason, but we did scream at him. And now I'm intrigued. Now I'm very intrigued. Let's go. Boom, boom. Maybe I shouldn't pinch my line because that's going to get him to go way too far back. Yeah. All right. Noted. Don't pinch your line. Whatever. We're going to send this blitz from like this, but it's fine. Boom. Yo, this is low-key. Is he... Wait a second. Okay. Let's go. Boom. Okay. Are we just... Okay, right there we didn't scream, so maybe we want to pinch our line. Whatever. I don't even mind that he caught that. We're going to get more reps now. Boys, we, we're, we're doing a little bit of labbing. This is an offensive video, but we're labbing. Let's go... Okay, so what if we don't even do that? What if we call play like this then? Trio... Oh, no. Just cover, cover three. Do regular cover three. Press. Boom. 
Okay, what does this look like? Just a regular five man from this. Is this crazy? That's what it felt like. It felt like it might be crazy. No, it was not. No, 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 no. Why? K K where's my KO? You just got the most perfect animation ever. Um. Okay, so maybe I need to call Flash Blitz for this. I don't... I genuinely don't know. Boom. I mean, this is just going to be tough because he's going to run the ball now. Nice. Dang, dude. It would look good, though. Boom. Or <laughs> dude. This might be sick. This might be freaking sick, dude. Is there a world where this is good? Okay, boom. Let's man him up. Okay, we're gonna hop on this guy backside. I mean, I... Oh, no, I thought we... Dang, I suck. I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck. But yeah, if you notice, dude, like, I'm really not calling that many different plays. Like, I won't ever sit here and pretend like I am. I'm not a believer in calling a bunch of different plays, especially on, like, on offense or defense. But, like, on offense, I think this is... Is he a man? I think he is. Um, I mean, I just think if you master a few plays and then you're able to adjust you know do minor adjustments around those oh he was in like mana line hey that was weird catch on the sideline good catch Bo. good catch if he wants to sit in uh okay I'm trying to think here how do we want to play this he wants to he's sitting in mana line so let's do this i'm just gonna hitch him why not let's just see what this looks like Oh, so he is running me. He's just making adjustments around it. He actually just bagged. That's frustrating. He bagged. This could be a, a frustrating game, actually. I can tell. Because he's gonna, he's going to, like, adjust out of mana line quite a bit. Which mana line just makes it look like man coverage every single time. Boom. Freeform dot. Go turbo, 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 turbo. Go wide trail. Let's do that double corners concept we were talking about earlier. Bang. And I'm gonna make him respect back. Yeah. We throw that. That'd be insane if we do. <laughs> Dot. I mean, I'm now just intrigued by what we were doing from this earlier. Because this is just cool. We because we, we kind of screamed at a at a at, at Max Pro earlier, yeah? Pretty sure we did. We just do this. I mean, obviously there's a bunch of coverage holes. I'm not even worried about that. But if you can find a blitz that works first, then like build around that. Oh my goodness. I'm just curious. Let's see. Since five out. See, right there, though, it's like, if we're going to do sending six, we need that to come in instantly. You know what I mean? Like, that has to that has to get in. Is there a world where just keeping that dude up top actually made it better? I'm so interested now. Like, having the safety up there. I mean, he came free. We just bit on the play action, which is fair. Tackles, tackles, tackles. All right, I'm going to pass commit then. That's the thing. When you blitz and they run play action, you'll bite on the blitz a lot. Or you'll bite on the run a lot, which is fair. So let's try this then. And so we're here. Press. Good. Oh, I didn't. Uh, good lays. Good lays. Good lays right to me. Fred Warner. Another one. Another one. Boom. Get out of there, Fred. Get out of there, Fred. Get out of there, Fred. Oh, come on. Good job, Fred Warner. That was sick. All right, so we're going to pass commit. We're going to pinch. We're going to press. We're going to crash up. This is the same thing we were doing before. I'm just curious to be... Why are you running? Honestly, good run defense. Good run defense. Pass, 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 Tyler. 21-5-1-2. Pass. Please, my brother. Please. Boom, boom, boom. This is what it looked like before. Crash up. Here we go. Go get him, go get him, go get him. So like that, like you see that, like there's a dude disengaging over there. My, he he five outed again. <sighs> Stop five outing, dude. Let me let me test this. Come on. Well, we are getting multiple dudes coming free. He's gonna manually chew this down, dude. Come on, pick a play. Okay, time out. I'm not waiting. I'm too impatient. Ideally though, the reason this would be like a good defense to run probably isn't every play thing, but rather like a situational, um, a situational like send everybody defense. You know what I mean? Uh, where like maybe they're like like in this situation right here really, I'm curious like this I don't know if this blizzard back there like changes the blocking stuff boom, eh it's not very good man up boom good D maybe it isn't super good it felt good that one play though it really did 
let's try this, maybe? And really, we're just messing around with different stuff now. We're just going crazy. Go Flash Blitz again. Boom. Bang. Now I'm going to use I'm gonna use with this guy, so we're sending that pressure like that now. Yep, yep. A little press. Boom. Does it come in? No. It did not come in. Bang. Thank you. We'll take that, though. Another one. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Nice. I looked away right there, boys. My kickoff team just tackled about the seven. Like, we, we went crazy right there. Okay, so the way... No, don't... Come on. The way this would have to work is that you would want to contain for this, right? You would 100% want to contain. Why is... Why is my play art not, like, reacting the way I should be? Maybe, did I call the wrong player out there? Definitely didn't. Flash blitz. Good. We're going to press. We're going to crash up. That's weird. Boom, boom. And I want to contain. And the reason the contain is important is that so many people roll out now. If you've played Madden online some, especially against good players, you see how often they roll out. Yeah, it's not very good. Dude, I really feel like it was good the first couple of plays, though, man. Like, did it not buzz? I bet there's a way to make it good. Like, I really do. What if we do something like this? We just go, like, full. No, what if we spread? Ooh, spread, crash up. Boom, pass commit. Something like this, maybe? Yup, yup. This might be tough. This could be good. I can see this being good. We're going to send six right here. I can see this being tough. Let's go. Get after him. Get after him. Get after him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What was that little thing right there? Let me, let me freaking clip that. You know, I'm running a lot of 3-4 odd recently. I talked about that earlier. But truthfully, so like so something to keep in mind is that 3-4 odd, dollar, and 5-2 are like more similar than than you would immediately think. And so what, what I mean by that is, think about dollar, right? You have three down linemen, two linebackers. Who's outside of the D linemen? Slot corners, okay? Three, four odd. You have three down linemen, two linebackers. Who's outside of the D linemen? Outside linebackers. So you just, in three, four odd a dollar, all you're doing is replacing the outside linebackers with, with slot corners and just widening them out, really. If you were to go into three, four odd and take your slot corners, or I'm sorry, three, four odd and take your outside linebackers, and just manually move them out six steps. They become slot corners. You'd be running dollar, essentially. 5-2 takes that to a slightly different level where it's five down linemen and two linebackers. So you get those same, instead of having outside linebackers at the ends, or I'm sorry, outside linebackers to slot corners like you would in 3-4 or dollar, you would actually change those to defensive ends, and you just have them in their hand of the dirt, right? So if you were to imagine dollar, but imagine your slot corners a little bit closer, hand in the dirt, same idea, right? There's not, a, there's not as much difference as you think. And even if you look at it right here, you can see why the alignment doesn't really change. And same if you go down to dollar, the alignment doesn't change a ton. It really doesn't. I'm curious what this continues to look like, though. Spread flex. Um, I want to crash up and then look blitz all backers. Is this... See, like right there, though, is something... Oh, no, 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 no. Tackle. Gotta, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Boom. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. No. No. Okay. Did he block somebody there? Did he block his halfback, maybe? That's where I want to pinch, just because I think that's the fastest way to... See, what if we pinch and crash up? and Boom. See, I just need somehow for that guy to come free. That's what I need. I need somehow for somebody to come free right there. And from the pinch alignment, it's going to be difficult. Boom. This was blitz everybody and contain. But what does this look like? See, I wish Bo Jackson was on the outward blitz angle. I wish he was going inside. What if we did that? Oh, now he's coming free, but that also was... Okay, so let's try this. Let's try this for the kid. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Something like this, and then contain. And I'm going to stand, like, right here. I'm just curious. This might be a touchdown. It might be a stop. No, why'd he... I mean, the pressure got there, but also we're sending... See, that pressure doesn't really count, especially being delayed, because he's sending five out, we're sending six. That should happen every single time. You'll see... Watch out for these idiots on YouTube who try telling you guys a great new blitz, and they send six on five. It's like, dude, wow, great blitz, brother. You know what I mean? It's actually a scam. The amount of YouTubers, man YouTubers, who just, like, say things... <sighs> it's so stupid. It's like if I try giving you advice on how to get into real estate. It's like, dude, I don't know. I've never done real estate. I've watched a couple videos. That's it. You know what I mean? 
It's like you'd be like, Civil, why are you giving me advice on real estate? There's no reason for Civil to be giving me advice. Or like if I gave you like medicine advice, I don't know what I'm talking about. Madden? I don't know what I'm talking about. Played this game for a while. Done some cool things on it. PA boot over. Now there's a reason why I have not ran this until what is this, March? So we're six or so months into the game. I gotta actually hurry up really fast. So we're just gonna snap the ball before I get into a little spew about talking and stuff. Um, but I, I take a lot of pride here on this channel of trying to teach you guys why I believe is the best offense, is best defense, best ways to play the game at any given time. And the fact of the matter is that PA put over up until this point really hasn't been. Uh, when it was a man coverage meta earlier this year, we couldn't put our tight end on a post or like it took, like I didn't want to put a tight end apprentice there uh, due to AP reasons. And we really haven't seen too much of a cover three meta in Madden up until about a month ago. And with that being the case, with a lot of cover three being ran, PA boot over actually begins to make a lot more sense, especially when you add in the fact that we have Hot Rod Master now so readily available to us inside of Ultimate Team, right? And you can do this in CFM too if you have Hot Rod Master. Uh, if you're in regs, you basically have to have... You either need Titan Apprentice. Nice. You either need Titan Apprentice or Howard Master there, too. I'm going to see if he runs a cover three shell. He might here. I want to show you the value of this. Whenever you can add plays into a, a, your arsenal, into your scheme, like we do here in the Green Bay Packers playbook, that can be one play touchdowns, it's huge. You've seen me run this in some videos, so we'll see if we can actually dial this up right here. Cover three. We have a touchdown if he doesn't user it. He... Oh, he does user it. Or, I'm sorry, the deep zone ended up playing back, but... As a result, we're able to hit underneath, which is totally fine, too. It's one of my favorite things. Whenever you have a compressed, deep post like we do here from Plaxico Burris, it's going to be a very big, viable option as a cover three bomb. And also, inside of Bunch 10, we have some other really cool plays, too, we'll talk about. Uh, we just go X. Boom. Nice. You build over. Works out a little bit right there. But Bunch 10 also has some other cool stuff. Uh, the inside zone from this is pretty cool. And then we can also just call basic good route combos here that we can make shift. So you see me doing a lot of that throughout this as we get blown up in inside zone right there. You'll see me do a lot of that stuff here throughout this video. I'm going to really try to stick in bunch tight end. Remember, though, typically in this Packers scheme we're running right now, we run some bunch strong offset, some trips tight end. I've even sprinkled in some bunch wide, which has been cool. And it's it's honestly been a lot of fun. But the play, it's behind my face cam, but it's called triple out, is really, really good. So we'll probably run that at some point. In this game, I imagine we're so close to the red zone already, though, where I might go something like this. So I'm actually going to motion Y across, put him on a streak. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, let's see if Beast Mode's a touchdown. Beast Mode, get away, boom. Oh, uh, to the third inches, go turbo, 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 inside zone. What does he have here? Inside stuff. Where's the inside stuff? He has inside stuff of Vita Vea. We're just going to take it right up the middle. This inside zone is solid, which I'm a big fan of. Let's go boom. Bang. Tutty. But yeah, whenever you have a like a formation, if you can get some big play potential from it, which you really do have in bunch tight end, it's it's just super exciting. It adds a lot to your offense. Being able to just score in a hurry and catch a lot of people off guard and then mix that with good route combos is such, such, such a huge deal. This scheme is coming to Civil IG, this entire Packers playbook along with the defense you see me running. You can check that out. The link is in the top of the description if you guys want just full access. But if you want to just learn from this video, you can learn quite a bit. I take a lot of pride in teaching a lot of stuff for free just because, I mean, I remember being, you know, like 16 and not having money. So, I, yeah, I, I want to be able to teach stuff for free too. But we do have the option for more in-depth guides and, and kind of more like deeper breakdowns if you want that as well. It's just kind of up to what you're you're looking to get into. Let's get a good kickoff right here. I always try to take one of my kickoff guys and swerve out. Um, swerve one to the sideline, one out to kind of create a funnel, basically. Just to make sure he can't kind of break that. That's the ideal thing we do. And I'm gonna run I'm gonna run a lot of dollar in this one, I think. Let's get Ryan a lot out of here for Williams. He's in flanker close. Interesting, but he won't be able to block my blitz, I don't think. Is this this is flanker close? Is that what this is called? Is it? I thought flanker close was That is not flanker close. Flanker my ball, my ball. Dang it. Flanker close is a is that really flanker? This is not flanker close. What? I don't know. He's just going to keep on running, which actually he might be able to run the ball on us pretty well. And he he definitely can. We're going to begin run defense. He's, of course, going to go hurry up. These dudes would love to go hurry up. I love that he's in hurry up. Now he's going to... Is he passing now? Please. Please pass. Please pass. Please pass. He's throwing a pick first play. First play interception. Come on. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing, dude? Don't run now. Thank you. Good D. Good D. Good D. 
sack instead. Not a pick, sack. We're just in pressure now. Let people beat themselves, dude. I'm telling you. So many people will just beat themselves if you let them. Come on. I mean, what what is that motion back and forth? Are you putting him on a special route? You have Howler Master right there? Oh my gosh. This guy's making eighty adjustments. Jeez. Boom. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Alright, dude, that was fire. That was fire. It's gonna be a fun game. I can already tell this guy's got a whole scheme ready for us. Sick. Don't you dare motion him back. Oh my god, you'd not just run on third and six and get it. This act, this defense does a pretty good job against the run, but not this run. Not this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna be stubborn and stick in it. I'm just not gonna pass commit like we have been. No way you're chewing me. No way you're chewing me. Okay. What are you? Oh my god, this guy's disgusting. He actually plays the game. No way he just he just chewed the end of the. No, he didn't. Sack. Thank you. Pick. I mean that's insane. We're gonna fall down. Just gotta want to run more bunch of end, but that's why you get lurk artists on your DNs and you send pressure every single play. Nice. So I'm gonna see if we can set up this bomb from triple out right here. And I guess we, nah, we're not going to. He's running a lot of cover three cloud, which is tough. I mean, I'm gonna force that one. This should not be a catch. It was touchdown, one play touchdown. He's running a lot of cover three cloud, which usually will throw us for a little bit of a loop, but it, it works out there, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, but this has been cool. And again, like I'm not running just this. For this video, I am for the most part, just for the sake of showing it off, but we're doing some more stuff. Boom. Can we throw wide? No. Make the throw, Bo. Make the throw. I am going to onside him now just because we're starting to get close to rage quit territory. Whenever we just get through games, grind trophy packs faster, the better. Nothing. No disrespect to you. Honestly, I never get my onsides anyways, so don't worry. You have nothing to fear, brother. Ooh, so now he's coming out with something different. Okay. He might. This might immediately be an RPO. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. No, pass. Good D. Good D, good D. No, you can't throw that. What is my zone do? Like, oh my gosh. What? I'm just run committing right here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come here. Come here. I don't really ever recommend run committing, but you can definitely you can definitely get away with it sometimes. Oh my gosh, another run? I mean, you're you're a madman. You're actually a madman, dude. Oh. I I, I respect him. I really do. Boom, let's move him inside. I post route? No, just, I mean, just throws it right at my user. Like, not a care in the world. Did not look at all. You're kicking? I'm going to be, like, super toxic, and I'm going to purposely go off sides here. I want him, I'm going to go off sides twice. I want him to go for it. Twice should put him at his own four, or at my four, right? Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Go for it. You are down two possessions, brother. No way. Truthfully, the way he's playing defense is honestly, like, slowing down the bombs quite a bit. Even though, I mean, we have hit them, which goes to show, you know, that they're pretty decent. But, yeah, because the way he's rotating his safety, you can see B with the force all the way over. He's rotating that safety. He's just sitting in cover through cloud every play, dude. That's what's making it tough. He's rotating that safety from the weak side. That guy's bumping out. It's actually going to do a pretty good job. But the way we can attack it is do something like this where now we're going double corners to the right side. We're super flooding the right side here. And he should have some issues. Boom. Bang. Skirt. That's a dot. That's actually a laser, dude. What is that, like a 50-yard corner route right there from triple out? That's fire. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Okay. Is he... Let's see if this does what I think it will. Is it a touch on to X? We got all day. Plenty of time. X. Skirt. Oh, da. Dang it. All right. Let's put together an actual route combo here. There we go. We have A, maybe. We'll just freeform Y up. Bang. Lays. Touchdown. Dang it. Down to the three. We'll go a little under center. Stretch. Why not? Stretch right. Bang. I mean, I had. I, that's terrible. Terrible play calling by me. It's actually so bad. Stretch left this time. This time we actually have a chance. Oh, what we suck. We are so bad at Madden. Genuinely terrible. I have no choice but to go hurry up now and just pray. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Hatut. Roll. Touchdown. 
Is there a world? Is there a world where Bo Jackson gets in? Is there a world where inside zone split is good from this, actually? That's what I'm curious about. There's no shot this works. Negative. I mean, I didn't even double team the freaking... Yeah, negative, negative, negative. Please, lordy, lordy, I feel like I'm 40. Give me the onside, man. Pop it up. Oh, we're not we're not getting that. No world do we get that. Yep. Someday I'm going to actually sit down and lab in onsides. I promise you. I promise. But that day is not today. And it's probably not tomorrow. It might be next Madden. Do you think there will be onsides in, in NCAA 25? I've gotten asked this a good amount. I will 100% do, be doing NCAA 25 content. Now, I won't lie to you. I don't pick. Okay. I don't 100% know how we're going to do it, but there will be. I don't know if it's going to be daily like this exactly. Um, I'm going to be big on gameplay in NCAA 25. Um, so if you, it, when, when it comes here, if you want to get better at the game, you want to learn stuff, I will be grinding the heck out of the game. It's very exciting for me. I'm hoping, uh, I'm just hoping it's fun, dude. I think it's going to be, man, it, it, the college football just isn't bigger than Madden. Like, or college football isn't bigger than NFL. But I think what it's going to, the biggest thing it's going to do for, for a lot of people or just for the, the, the space, right? And if you're watching this video, we don't have, right? These videos typically get like 5,000 to 7,000 views, right? Point being is that you're pretty in the Madden space if you're watching this video, right? Like you care. And I think this could be really good for the Madden niche as a lot of people will be coming back to football gaming from NCA, right? They haven't played in forever. They get NCA and they're like, ah, I guess I'll get, I guess I'll get NCA or I guess I'll get Madden, right? Because so many people, so many of my friends from college are going to be getting NCA for the first time and it'll be their first football game in forever. And so as by default, then after that, they'll be like, man, I guess we'll go. I guess I'll get a, uh, Good lays, dude. Actually, good laser. I guess I'll get Madden as well. Is there a world where we stop this run right here? Yes. Yes, there is. Please, 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 please. Oh, God. What the? All right. Boom. No, I wanted a jurdle, not hurdle. Okay. I really want to... Dude, he's... Okay, so we run this to the left side that's where he should just be an outside third instead of a like a cloud and so this should be a bomb if he sits in the same oh he's changed his coverage okay he is in a new defense he's in three four odd he this this should be interesting okay touch on and that's what i'm talking about like this yeah that is one of the best examples why i'm loving Bunch tight end right there. And mind you, like, it's done well. We've only set, I mean, we have 28 points, 20 or four touchdowns so far in the game already. So it's like, we're chilling without the bombs. But skirt, we fit that. Imagine. Damn, we suck. I suck. One stop and it's got to be a rage quit. Like, I have a really good rage quit radar at this point. And it's one stop away. The issue is that I'm not playing defense. The best ways to get rage quits in the past were when cover zero was really good like or like whenever mid blitz is good if mid blitz is good oh my gosh you can get so many rage quits because people just i mean you just get bagged 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 insta sacked insta sacked insta, insta sacked and it's just ggs simple as that it's just game over people just quit they they get so mad which is so fair actually like i don't blame i'd get pissed too um let's go crosser 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 good sack good sack good sack made a video about the meta the other day and those videos never really get too many views, but I think some of the talking points I made uh, were important. And they apply, man, in my opinion, they apply way further than Justin Madden. Um, the meta, so to make a really long story short, meta essentially, you know, some people call it most effective tactics available. That's like what the acronym is supposed to stand for. I think that's just a bad representation because really it's just the most popular stuff, which a lot of times is the most effective, but isn't always. So meta is synonymous with the word, with the idea of most popular. And the reason I believe it's actually a good thing for all things in life that there's a meta, two main reasons, boys. Two main reasons. I promise you, if you can start thinking like this, it will... Jeez, I mean, he just dotted me. Don't think like that. He dotted me. But if you can start thinking like this, it will genuinely... I, I think it will change your perspective on a lot of things. Um, and it will help you out a ton. It helps. No way you're kicking, dude. I'm going offsides. Fourth and two. I might get kicked for griefing. All right, come on. Fourth and two. Go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. You have not even sniffed a stop yet. You have to go for this. You genuinely have. Like, I'd be... Sh no way. I almost want to just go offside. I'm afraid of getting kicked, but I just want to keep going. 
no, that's actually dumb. It's actually bad football by him. He's down 70. Even though he cuts it, like, technically cuts it to two possessions, you have to read the room. He's not even got me to a third down yet. You, you, or at least he get an onside or something. I think that's dumb. But the reason, the, the, the fact that there's a most popular way to do pretty much everything in life, whether it's grilling steaks, whether it's how NBA teams play basketball, um, anything, right, anything, is that, one, there is a guideline for how you should do things to get to the kind of above average level, okay? And above average, dude, if you can get there, think about what that is. That is above average, right, in everything. You can get above average just by following these guidelines and putting in a little bit of effort. And above average, again, you're better than most people just by that. But then you also know what everybody else is doing, right? So then you can use that knowledge to help yourself get ahead. So really, as simple as that. And that sounds like some, like, I don't know, guru-type nonsense, but I promise you it's so true. Touchdown? No? Ah. Ah. I saw it. Come out. Maybe now he gets a stop. But, um... I, I really do believe that. I really do believe that. And it's been a big benefit for me in my life, I feel like, in just different areas, especially Madden, right? One of the best ways I can easily get good at Madden, I could take a year off of Madden. But then if I came back, within a week, I'd be a top 100 player in the world again because I would sit down. I would say, okay, what is the current meta? Okay, it's X, Y, and Z. Beautiful. And then, nice. Why is he calling a timeout? Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? I would just say, what is the meta? Okay, how, how do I stop the meta? I'd spend a couple of days learning how to stop the meta. And if you can learn the meta and then learn how to stop the meta or beat the meta, you are going to be better than the majority of players just like that. Like, literally, it's that simple. Boom. Nice, dude. Why? Why are you doing that? Why would you call a timeout for me? Man, I don't know. I'm going to go see if we can get a little bomb ski here. No, we won't. Clouding again, or cover three clouding, rather. I'm going to throw it up. No, fumble. Dang, unfortunate. Unfortunate, boys. We're taking a half. I mean, good good on him, I guess. He does get ball at half. I just think that's such a... I, I think before half doing that is so, 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 so dumb. But what do I know? All right, so he's going to start passing. He honestly did dot us. We might just switch into... One of the best things, like, if someone's trying to dot a blitz, just go full coverage. And it sounds obvious, but, like, it's so true. Yeah, he's starting to do a good job picking up the blitz and whatnot, which props to him. No, no, no. Props to him for doing. But now we're just going to go full coverage on him and just say, beat this, brother. Beat this, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, come, come on. Good. Does he throw that crosser? That's a dot low key. That was weird. Let's get a stop, boys. Let's get a freaking stop. Pass commit. Crosser, we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. That's actually one of the biggest reasons why I don't like Fred Warner at where he's at. Man, do I love him for his mid zone and lurk artist for zero combined. But dang, do I hate him for, for a lot of other stuff like that right there. Like, I got to be able to get there with my user and pick that, truthfully. Has to be a pick. Has to be, has to be, has to be. Back him off. I feel like he's taking his sweet time with, like, all of his route combos. Boom. Crosser? No? I mean, can we take a better pursuit angle, please, Joshua? What are we doing? Oh, lordy. Come on. Let's get off the field, please. Go hard flat, make him pass anywhere besides directly at us. Boom, good. Go, corner route, can't throw it. Good D. What we got? We got good D. Pick, thank you. We out, six. Fred Warner with the pick. Well, that's one of those things where it's like, that's not Fred Warner. That's just a dude. He, like, he just threw it at me. Just a dude being in the right place, technically. Dang, I want to buy. He's really actually running good anti bomb coverage, which is crazy because we've. Like in almost all of our videos, we've built a bomb pretty much everybody, but. This one's just. Not. Oh. Let me get it, brother. Let me get it. Come on, we're going back to it again. We can get it if we can get timed. I'm making that throw. That's a crazy dot. That's a crazy throw. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 
All right, just for a short play really fast, we're going to go call dagger and just put our point wide receiver on our crosser. Yeah. Let's do this really quick just to pick up the first down. Boom. Boom. Skirt. 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 Oh, let me get one more skirt. Let's go turbo, 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 turbo. But yeah, because consistently, most of the time, you'd run a couple formations. Boom. Can I throw that up? No way. He's inverting the, the coverage now. And this dude, this dude's a freaking monster. He's the type of dude you don't want to mess with. Straight up. Back at it again. Boom. Glaze. Oh. Oh. Fight. Turbo, 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 turbo. <laughs> Boom. Juke. Oh, wow. We got popped. Roll, baby. Roll, roll, roll. I mean, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? Kenny, you're trying to just... Ugh. Bang. Boom. Dot. Dot. Imagine. <laughs> dot. 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 Now he's quitting. GG's, bro. He has no abilities. Do we get insta-shedded? I mean, what... See how good? I don't know. By the way, this is all Madden Seasons Legend Division. Um, I, I I talked about it in the first kind of episode of this this little mini series, right? We're going to win a Super Bowl. We are. This is Game Five of it. So after this will be our playoffs. Um, one of the poor things about damn, one of the bad things about head-to-head -head all Madden seasons that there's really bad ELO, if not no ELO kind of matchmaking, which can be pretty frustrating. Uh, it's very, very, very annoying, to be honest with you. But it is what competitive is played on. So you see me playing in Mutthead League right now quite a bit. It's on this game mode, so it's like, you know what I mean? It's tough. It's tough, dude. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Because like, I want to play for that game, this game mode for that reason, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Man, I find myself just running so many different coverages now. Like, so many... I very rarely sit in one thing anymore. I feel like... Bang. Quick throw. Okay. I respect that. Vince Carter out there. Ready to get dunked on, baby. Why is James crying? Stretch left. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm ready. Oh, dive. I was not expecting dive. I'll be so honest with you. Another handoff? Oh, he's gonna... He's going to really make me respect the ground game, brother. I'm ready. I'm ready. Boom, a little base. No, keeper. Justin Fields to the sideline. Juke. Ah, I was ready to strip it. This has been a monster drive so far. I can't lie. This has been pretty annoying. Oh, he's passing. We're there. Oh, dude, you're doing so good. Oh, this is really why you got to just, like, relax. Let people pass. Let people play. I say in almost every video, they will beat themselves. Or you'll beat yourself. You know what I mean? Someone's going to beat themselves. Will it be you? I don't know. We have a touchdown right here? We do. One play. Let's go against cover one. Skirt. Ah. Good job, boys. Good job. All right, I'm ready for stretch right. Stretch. No. Play action. We're ready. Come on. Good. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. No. Okay. I almost got worried he was going to do something he was going to regret. Oh, gosh. He's in five wide. Left seam taken care of. That's a big thing. The seams in five wide, you got to protect them. Got to protect the seams. Whenever you're against a spread set, I'll even, like, cheat my flats and put those in hook curl sometimes. Here we go, time. Just because. So we do it like this. Bang. Cool. Looks good. Looks good. Good D. Oh, and right there, he actually takes advantage of a good read. He actually just went all out for the first down. Jeez. Jeez. Good D. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. No, don't throw it. Oh, come on. Rashad Jones needs you, brother. I need you to play that, dude. That's GG's. Uh, yeah, now he's back to the ground game. Of course. Uh, all right. 
play action. I'm up. I'm there. Strip it. No. Wow, we actually just, like, oh. This dude. This dude. I'm getting bad posture right now. I'm thinking about buying a standing L-shaped desk. I have an L-shaped desk right now, but I'm thinking about buying, like, a standing desk. Good. Okay. Fair enough. Go turbo. Go turbo. No. I, I want a standing desk, and then I want a walking treadmill underneath me. I don't know if anyone do that. I'm curious if you do, do it. You like it? I, I'm really contemplating it. Run. Run. We're there. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fourth and one. Let's go. All right. Move both safeties down. Good. Come on. Pass. Good D. He actually low-key has it. But not. Dude. It just went through Fred Warner's hands. Oh, my gosh. That's actually pretty bad. That's Lurk Artist. Wow. Okay. That one's tough. That one's tough. DDA might be a thing, dude. Okay. I mean, holy crap. This has just been offense by him. I mean, way to freaking, like, just find a way, brother. I'm calling timeout. I don't want this to milk down to the end of the first. I'm just... Jeez, dude. I mean, just inch your crawl down the field. I respect it, but whatever it takes. Whatever it freaking takes, dude. We've had two plays of offense this, this game. This guy's on play 27. Don't check down. Okay. Are you... I'm calling another timeout. Are you kicking three? This is a kick three situation? Oh, my gosh. Does he brick it, brick it, brick it? No, nope. up and through. Straighten his arrow. So I think he's in man coverage now. So what we're going to do is put our tight end in a post. Let me see if I'm right. I am. Okay. So man coverage. Ooh, post kind of bump. We could pass it down, make the catch. Good. Let's go turbo, turbo, turbo. Three for three for 171. We're chilling. Let's go back to the tight end post right here. And if he's going to sit in man coverage, we have four man beating routes on this play. So some will typically get open. Yeah, we have A again. And you could adjust to this if you're him, but honestly, good stick by him to take away the cut, the juke back. Go back to it though, but he's gonna sit in man coverage. He can't defend. Like, oh, now he just switched. Okay, we're gonna do this. I don't love this, but we're just gonna snap it. We should have B. Eh, might be pick. Dot. Okay. All right. A little run to start off this drive. He's got a pass. I mean, I can't. I don't know. I'm just locked right now, dude. I'm locked. Pass, pass, pass. And he dots. Pass, 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 pass. Ass, 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 ass. Anyone, anyone ever go to a frat party? Listen to that. God, when I was 18, I thought frat parties were the coolest thing ever. I, I thought I was the coolest 18-year-old ever going to frat party. I was never in a frat. Never would join a frat. But damn, I think I was cool going to frat parties. And I realized I was a loser. Pick, please. Oh my god, dude, he's actually unpickable. Dude, he's like, oh my god. Dude, come on. Let's go. Let's end this old man. Let's end this old man. Come on. I'm getting annoyed. These drives are taking way too long, dude. Spread him. Spread him. Yep. And the inside zone. We're down three possessions. We're inside zoning me. Come on. You can't keep running, brother. Play action. We're there. We're ready. He's trying to run. Boom. Let's go. Fourth and three. End the game. What we got? Show me something. He actually has so much open. No, he doesn't. Da. Good job. Pause. GG's. We're in the first round of our playoffs. He's in his Super Bowl. We're the Green Bay Packers offense. We'll be talking you through what we're going to be doing over here today, boys. This is his. This was not my Super Bowl. He. Okay, first round. <laughs> first round of the playoffs, brother. We we win. We win. So game two of the playoffs here, I guess. Um, I I don't know. We have ball first. That was that was very very strange. I mean, he. I literally spotted him a touchdown because it's an offensive video. So whenever we do like offensive based videos and we start on defense, I just give the person a touchdown so we can just get started on the right foot. But 
Okay. Um, we'll take it. Sure. Let's go, boys. If we win the Super Bowl, I will do you guys a very, a, a very nice solid. Okay, I know this is gonna excite some of you, and that we will open the. Oh gosh, good defense, good defense. Throw it away, throw it away. We will open the trophy packs in this video. That's right. If you guys stay to the end of the video, you'll see a little bit of. It's not gambling. It's just. What would be the thrill of it? It's almost. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the, the the like a box opening, like a mystery box opening. I don't know what that thrill is called, but whatever. We're in PA boot over right here. Packers playbook, right? Um, I love this, dude. I think an online head-to-head -head play, um, I think I could get a... Oh, please. No, we got shedded so fast. Oh, but we delivered a dot. We delivered a dot. Oh, we got KO'd. Oh. Dude, who's that? Who was that big son of a gun in the middle? Of the who is that Warren Sapp right there or the fridge? It must be. He insta-shedded my center. Oh, damn. And Bo delivered just a fucking laser. Who is that right there? Warren Sat. Let me... One of the things you could do... So I have Secure Protector on my tackles. But because I don't have it on my center, I'm just going to double team him. And... Oh, I forgot. When you run play action, you have to double team twice. But yeah, like running this bomb, dude. Especially against the meta kind of defense right now. This bomb develops pretty fast. And I didn't set up any kind of protection. Dot. Dot. Blue pass. Dude, if you learn how to blue pass, which is just, I don't even know how to, like, I try to teach so much. I really don't even know how to teach it just because, like, it's just like timing something in 2K, right? It's like timing a jump shot at 2K. But if you kind of mess around with that in practice mode, you'll see. And, um, dude, blue passing is just a lifesaver. It really can be. Good defense. We're bagged. I'm going to try throwing X, but I don't think we can. Ah. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that was nuts. I have no business catching that pass, Kenny. Kenny, you dog. You absolute animal. CGZ. I'm sorry, brother. What, what was that? Why did Bo's jersey just look like that? I have no idea. Huh. I don't know. You know, something I catch myself doing in games against certain people, and I really will only do this, like, if I'm playing like a, like a comp guy, um, like somebody who's really good at the game, though, like uh, John Beast, Dez, you know what I mean? Like dudes who have won hundreds of thousands of dollars. I, I run into this issue sometimes mentally, and I've heard other people talk about it. Uh, that like you almost think that stuff like nothing's gonna be open like oh their defense is just different No way I can run an RPO bubble on them or something. You know, what I mean something like that And the fact of the matter is that's just not it's just not true at all I've heard other people say that about like when they play a streamer and they're like, oh my gosh I, I was so surprised that things were open against them and like dude One defense in general, but like defense in Madden will always have holes in it, dude Like doesn't matter who you're playing against not not everything's bad. Jeez. Jeez, this guy's defense has no holes in the middle. That's for damn sure. But you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how good of a player you're playing. There's holes in their defense, right? There always is. They get scored on. Um, and they get scored on probably a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a big deal just to keep that in mind, I think. We're a new version of the 3-4 odd that uh, we actually just released this on the site the other day. Immediately, we blow that sweet shit up. What are you trying to do? Run the ball on me? My defense has no holes in it, brother. That's, that's the debut of the 3-4 odd in this chair. This is an offensive video, but the, the, yeah, the 3-4 odd did just come out. So if you're interested in that, get the Packers offense and that. Over on Civil.gg, link in the top of the description, boys. Code Packers for a cool 30% off. That's not too shabby. Go scream at him then, brother. Bad defense, Kenny. Kenny, you fat idiot. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. You know, you know, you know he wants a five out. You know he wants to call that play. You can defend it, you fat. Oh, okay. Good screamer, though. Honestly, great scream. I, I got to get rid of Fred Warner, dude. This dude should not be on my team anymore. Good. Fred Warner sucks. He just missed the dive tackle. He just missed the fucking dive tackle. Fred, he's off the team soon. I'm getting... There's like a card. That's, I can't remember who it was, but someone told me to get him. He's worth like 500k. So I think Fred Warner's gone, and we're going to get him. And we're just going to do whatever. Like, I'm, I'm over Fred Warner. I thought he was really cool because the lurk guard is mid-zone combination. But honestly, no. Nope. Nope, he's not that cool. I'm using him now. Let's go. A little A gap did not come in. Good good ball or good play. Good protection. Good protection right there. I'm actually surprised we didn't we didn't come free. It's too bad. Scream, 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 scream. We're screaming. We are screaming. And then we check into a little bit of dollar. Let me actually set up my players though really fast. This is the I really don't think the best way to play defense is no longer. And same way with offense, too. Um, is no longer sit in the same thing all game. You know what I mean? Or say, sit in the same formation. I think being able to show people different looks is really the is really the key. Give people some different looks here and there. 
I think that's what you really got to do if you want to be able to get stops. Good D, good D, good D. Yup, yup, yup. Because he, get, he gets used to one thing, but then you start throwing another thing at him. And now we're going to check back into the 3-4. But now we're going to run kind of a heavier blitz setup. And, I mean, shoot. We might just, we might get him out of the game already. This might be a two-minute game. Let's go. Bang. Boom. Oh, go get after him. Get after him. Isaiah, you're right here. Yep. Yep. Do I press? No, we won't. Although I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Come on. Boom. Go get him. Go eat. Go eat. We got a little bit of edge pressure. I suck. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I'm the best. Come on. Kick your tray. Kick the tray. Okay. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. The, the chick is saying no. How'd he miss it? Dude, I wasn't even paying attention. All right, let's go Durham. This route combo. There's a little streak. Post. Streak from the halfback. And then this, this is a wheel right, but this guy could easily be a flat route. So, I mean, if you could do this from other formations where you can just flat that guy. Uh, so he's just running a lot of... Oh, it's not Mabel. It's... That was a... Ver oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting defense. I like it, actually. What he's giving up, though, is that left flat, but he has a hook curl that's almost playing like a flat. Makes it look like a flat, but it's not a flat. It's like a shaded down vert hook that looked like, honestly. Maybe it was. That was weird. That was weird on the left side. I I'd like to see it again. I, I must be. I'm wrong, clearly. I'm going to go back to it right here and just see. I'm so curious what that left, left short flat zone was. I got a little bit of a hoarse voice right now, too, boys. I'm sorry. I apologize. And see, this time he actually takes it away. Good D. Honestly, good D. You know, I'm very happy. I don't know how many of you guys deal with this. So if you've watched my videos, you've probably noticed this. I've gotten a couple comments in the past of like, nice hickey on your neck, idiot. And I've always gotten ingrown hairs on my neck. I've always been bad about them. And like, I, I do, like, I've Googled it numerous times. Like, I, I do the things that, to get rid of ingrown hairs. I just, I'm just susceptible to them. I think, it, it, I, I don't know what it is, but I've had it forever, right? And it, in my, so as a result of it, you have the little ingrown hair. And um, after you shave, it just becomes red. It's not too bad, but it can be noticeable. And sometimes it's better and worse than other times. We stayed in bounds right there. That's crazy. But, dude, the, right here is where it's always the worst. And, oh, my God. I freaking got a hair out of here the other day. I plucked it. And, like, I, I got the hair, right? Cause I saw it was an ingrown hair. So you can, like, see it and then pluck it. And it was, like, in there, kind of. But then when I got it out, dude, like, the longest in, like, gray. Not, it, it was a gray hair, but... Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's, that's a great free form. Like, just white hair came out with it. Like, it was long. Like, probably, like, three times the length of my beard. Maybe four times the length of my beard. I'm like, holy shit. And this area right here used to always be, like, a little bit, a little bit swollen and, and a little bit agitated just because of that ingrown hair. And, like, it's totally went down. Tutty? 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 Tutty! It's totally... It's been awesome. I still think my neck might be a little bit red. But, dude, like, I am... I'm freaking pleased. If you deal with it, one thing I did is, like, you can go, like, get, uh, like, soaps and stuff like that that can help, like, reduce irritation. And then I want to say either Harry's. I want to say Harry's has some stuff as well that, uh, I need to double team him. I suck. Harry's has some stuff as well that can, like, help reduce redness. Um, and I, I've used it a couple times, but it's whatever. A big thing that I would do is that instead of shaving in the morning, I would actually shave sometimes at night, so then my neck would have the entire night to get less red and less agitated. Um, because, you know, the longer I would go without agitating it, the less noticeable it would be. Um, and it was never too... I don't think it was ever too bad, unless it was right after I shaved, which sometimes you guys would see. But, dude, I'm just... I'm happy about it. Uh, I'm, very, I'm very pleased. If you deal with ingrown hairs on your neck, or, like, your neck is just... I mean, this is... We are killing this run, but the RPO just... He just banged us on the RPO. Jeez. 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 Oh... Oh, no. Oh, did I just get TikTok? Oh, I'm the, I'm the TikTok E now. Dang it. Damn. Well played. Fuck. But yeah, and then with the, with getting off the topic of the TikTok nonsense this guy just put me on. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh, oh, tick, almost a TikTok right back, brother. Um. You can, so you can kind of like get, pull them, right? You got to be kind of careful. The biggest thing is if you're going to pull your hairs, which I feel like some people, I, I think the super correct way, and please do your own research on this, um, is to like just to like get one of the heads exposed and then you can shave it. But like I plucked a lot of mine. But you got to be careful because you could like mess up your skin and leave like scarring potentially. 
um, which is just something to to consider uh, if you if you deal with that. But yeah, that was some, something I've always dealt with. And I mean, I, I literally pulled a hair that I would not doubt that that hair may have been in there, um, like that white part because it just wasn't exposed to light. For oh oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Um, for like a year or something, you know what I mean? It was so like crazy. It was so, it was bonkers. I'm I'm very pleased about that. Let's go PA but over tight in a post. Um, I like this as one of my good quick snap plays. So many people try me. Oh, dude, Bo Jackson tight end has just stayed in bounds this game for us. He's just staying in bounds. But I like that as a quick quick snap play just because. Like uh, it, it attacks the flat really well, really quick. It'll beat man coverage every single time. And then the tight end post is just so good. Good D. I mean, he's actually just mabling every time. Good D, brother. Good D. Yeah, like this play does such a good job. It's just a nice little quick snap play. It's when they it's when they zone blitz you, really, though. If they're going max coverage, this play isn't very good. Just because, like, the routes really don't complement each other at all. But they like, are zone blitzing you. You have a good chance. And he's just not defending that left flat at all. Same thing as earlier that we noticed. Throw it away. Yeah, he's really dropping. I mean, he, he's dropping his zone drops back and then just not defending that flat at all, which is a little odd. But then, like, he will sometimes, so kudos to him for doing it sometimes, I guess. Interesting. That's where I'm like, what do I actually want to do against that? I think part of me is like, let's just do this and see what he does. Does he... Streak Y. Let's see, does he send pressure again? He does. Boom. Get the first, get the first. Good fight, Marshawn. Good and fight, dude. I love that. I love you, Marshawn Lynch. I love you, dude. Go table or Texas now. It's one of the reasons I like Packers. Jets just doesn't have this. And it has pretty close to it, but a couple of the plays are just a slightly different. Although, you could easily run Packers at a high clip. High ball. I was definitely throwing a pick. <laughs> <gasps> I was just throwing the ball up. Why not? How good is this play? Is this play sexy? This play is ass. This play is sexy. This play is ass. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. Let me go back to it. We're just going to do a quick little boom. And then bang. No, no, no. no. We don't want to streak from RB. We want... Yeah. Just please don't blitz me, dude. Please stop, bl please stop blitzing. But you see, he's just not defending that flat. Now, he can do that on third and seven. Let's go turbo, turbo, turbo. I need to double team this inside stuff right here. No, don't don't quiet the crowd, Bo Jackson. Double team. Double team. Oh, he's not defending the bubble. He did defend the bubble. He did not defend the bubble. First down. Yep. Let's go. Wow, we are gassed. All right, we're just going to do a little handoff then. He's got to be upset about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. You played good RPO defense right there. The dog just got one on you. Can't, can't do nothing about that. Can't do nothing about it. Just got to tip your cap sometimes, brother. Bang. Uh, I mean, Mar I mean, holy shit, my team just bailed me out those last two plays. I had no business getting the first down or the touchdown. Zero business. Sometimes, boys, my one of my best pieces of advice that I can give you is it's better to be get bailed out by everything than it is to put in any kind of work, all right? Simple as that. Like, oh, my goodness. We'll take it. Now let's just go here. Boom. Yeah. Ah, stick talk, stick talk. All right, I think he's going to get real pass happy right here. He's been a pretty big passer so far this entire game. So we're going to send the dogs at him on the first play. And do I shade down? I'm going to shade down on the ISO side in case he puts a drag. And wow, do, wow. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's literally what we were trying to defend with that. Beautiful. We'll take it. Let's go cover Trey now. Cover Trey, cover Trey. Boom. Isaiah Simmons up the A gap. Isaiah Simmons up the A gap. Fred Warner in the in the seams. Fred Warner in the seams. Oh, he's got Bo nose activated. We lost. Please don't throw it to him. Good scream, baby. Come on. Come on. Give me some of what I'll have what he's having. I'm just gonna start saying random catchphrases now. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dude who says uh booyah? Well, what am I thinking of? I think that's a, is that a booyah? Am I thinking of something with that dude? It's like a real like deep voice, a like, booyah. If, I don't know. I might be onto something where I might just be tripping. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure, dude. I'm upset about the the mutt head league stuff. I don't know if you guys have been following along with that. I hope you have. Uh, we put in. I put in a lot of work just to be good in that league. Uh, 
So I had to I had to do a lot of labbing and whatnot. But we've had some tough. We're two and four now, with three of the losses being by. No way you threw that. Oh, you're a fucking animal. I didn't. I mean, everything else was open right in front of your face, but you decided to launch it deep. We're two and four now. Very depressing. We were just two and two last week, but we lost our next two. Very upsetting. Um, but three of those losses were by one possession. Oh my god, I keep on giving up the. I suck. Three of those losses were by one possession. I'm like, dude. And two of them were at the final play of the game. I am two and four, and two of my losses were the final play of the game. I lost both of them. Depression. Straight depression. Okay, Bo Jackson just decked somebody over there. I don't know if you guys saw that play. But I, I am like, damn. Like, I know for me, I'm like, dude, like, I know. But, like, anyone looking, like, oh, I'm two and four. I suck. And it's like, dude, I... I lost two of the... Dude, why am I not defending this? Kenny. Kenny, defend the RPO. Come on. Come on, dude. Like, 3 4 odds is not great against defending the RPO, but I can do better than what I'm doing. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm 2 and 4, so people will look at that and be like, ah, you suck. And it's like, dude... And I'm like, dude, I... I lost two of the games by the final play. Like, oh, man. Good day, good day, good day. We're there. I'm trying to be there. Fred Warner's a freaking hound. Pick it off, Ben Simmons. Go get the fucking ball. Come on, dude. Look alive. Could I? Could I run this from? I'm so curious about something right now, actually. I'm so genuinely curious. I just got very curious. Boom. Will this? Will this do what I think it will? I'm, will this just scream? Like, are we about to zero blitz him and just insta sack him? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait a second. You guys might be seeing the discovery of a new cover zero blitz that we call every play. <laughs> I needed something new to do. My old my old uh, things were getting boring. I'm so interested. Go get them. Let's just shade up and out. I mean, I really should put a third out there. Wow, okay, that did not. See, here's the thing. That's. I mean, that's great defense. Here's the thing. That's just superb. No. God dang it, get away. Fat boy, fat boy. Get away from me. Celebrate, celebrate. No, no, no. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Yes, yes. Put the ball down, Bo. Mm. Come on. We got more defense to play. Oh, is he quitting? He paused. Let's go. GG's. GG's in the chat. We're one away from the Super Bowl grand finale where we, we can rip open the packs. Here we are. Our Super Bowl. We're at Matland, Florida is what that said. I didn't. I don't even know. Whatever. Let's get. Let's see. I want ball. I want ball. We're playing the Packers. Oh, easy. Give me the rock. Come on. I, I'm pretty sure my three team captains were all Bo Jackson, by the way. I'm not confident in that, but I'm pretty sure that's what that just showed. We're getting the ball. Beast mode is returning. Bo Jackson lead blocking. Mm. Oh, baby, don't tempt me with a good time. Uh, part of me thought he was going to just start off with an onside. I will say his kicker doesn't... I didn't see his, uh, his thing. I'm not opening the message because I'll get DQ'd or DC'd or whatever. I got DC to my last fucking Super Bowl because I wanted to watch a clip back like an ass. Bang. Get out of there. We're, oh, don't do me dirty like that. Mm, come on. Bunch off set. Good. Let's go. I'm not even going to set my audibles, dude. First play. Let's go for a bomb. Let's go for a bomb. Throw one up for the kids. He's in cover two, I think this is. I want to say this is cover two when... Because the linebacker's out, and I feel like that's like a tell in this formation. I don't 100% know that, but I feel like it is. Let's see if I'm right. I, if I'm right, this play's actually bagged. I'm wrong, and the play's open, and we get hit as we throw. That is the bad part about throwing bombs, right? Where you go for nukes, and it's just you just don't have enough time. That may have been cover six, actually. Oh, is this one of those cover six nerds from... Yeah. I think it's one of those cover six nerds. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah. Boom. No, okay. I, I stepped back way too far. My pocket was so bad. Yeah, he's just running cover six. Dude, if you're playing someone who runs match, just just cancel the match. He have four receiving threats on the same side of the, uh, of the field. Now he's in cover three. Touchdown time. Touchdown time. Got to hurry up and set it up, though. No, no, shoot, 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 shoot. Please. Please, please. Snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap. Good. Come on. Hold. 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 Held. Oh, babe. 
All right, running wham against goal line. What could go wrong? Everything. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Also, I forgot I wanted to keep on testing the cover zero thing. All right, we'll, we'll get back to it next play. Oh, didn't matter because this guy's a, just the best man player ever. Immediately runs inside zone. Good run defense. We'll take it. Let's get off baseline. Let's go. What, what's the play? Pinch buck? Yeah, I'm going to flip it too. And he's in this. See, I actually hate... Ah, I mean, I should not, I should, I literally need to just audible, but I'm not going to. He actually blocked it. Dude, pick it, pick it. Oh, I mean, that's all day. Wharton, I mean, he's one of my best players. Wharton's one of my, yeah. He's supposed to be on the field too. Don't, don't question it. He is supposed to be there. Huh. Why was he? I have no idea how he got on my field. No clue. No clue. B? Yeah. Bang. Skirt. Ah, let's go. Turbo, turbo, turbo. We're going to go verticals from trips tied on. Verticals, verticals, verticals. I called the wrong verticals. I suck. I suck. We'll streak the halfback, though. And we'll look for MVS or beast mode. Nope, we're going to look for... Ah, see, I... Can we make this? This would be crazy. Oh, Plax, you actually can't get up there? I thought, like, a million percent you were just going to jump up there and snag the ball, and I was going to go, oh! This is not what happened at all. And now he's in man coverage. So we'll just do this. Hopefully Bo Jackson gets open, but I don't know if he will. You got use. Oh, actually, good defense. Good defense, dude. Damn it. Go audible, 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 audible. Thank you. He's audibling. I needed that. <laughs> I need him to get out of the man. Eh. Good. Turbo, 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 turbo. I'm going fucking crazy right now. Please, dude. <sighs> okay. Whatever. Just got to uh, beast mode. Need you to block. We're going to go double posts. I mean, this is one of the worst. This is one of the route combos of all time. This is one of them. <laughs> Dot. Dot. It's a fake. And they, they sniffed it out. They sniffed our fake out. All right, let's give this some more reps. I got to use the halfback, so let's get over there. The issue with this is that we're <laughs> like, this has to scream or we're screwed. I mean, it did, but like, he had a touchdown. Literally just had a tutty. Whatever. We're just going to keep on doing it until he, until he scores a touchdown off of me being an idiot. Yeah, we're there. We're all over you, dude. Yep. I mean, how is this not screaming? Strip it. Strip it. Great defense. I need the ball, though. I need the fucking ball. This really should be screaming, though. Right? You would think. Now I'm on Fred Warner. Yeah, we're getting cooked. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no shot do we ever defend the halfback. He could just do whatever he wants with them. It would be instant touchdown after instant touchdown. And he's going to go hurry up. Yep. This guy's unbeatable. Please. Okay. No, I'm on Wharton again. I mean, okay. Juke. Juke. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He did juke. Oh, my God. What? Dude. D okay. <laughs> Take your check downs, boys. 12 and 61 Detroit Pistons. I'm a, I'm a huge Pistons fan, by the way. Like, of all the sports, like all the teams, the Pistons are probably my my favorite team. And it's tough because I just, like, what do you want me to do? Go die hard. Pit? Like, we haven't been good in, since I've been alive. But um, the 12 and 61 Pistons are up three right now on the 14 and 59 Wizards. We are in an absolute, there's an absolute dog shit fest. Of who is the worst team. Both teams are actively... See, the thing is, dude, I, I actually, like, are both teams trying to lose? Like, because I, I think tanking and... I don't know. I don't mean, obviously, like, statistically, like, you, you want better odds, right? But it's like, I don't know. The way it's formatted. I and mean, the Pistons were by far the worst team last year. Bomb, by the way. Bomb. The Pistons were by far the worst team last year. And we got the fifth overall pick. I should be wearing a Victor Wembanyama jersey right now but instead i'm not i hate everything let's just roll out come on let's go let's go come get me come get me you got me this guy's secretly secretly one of the best man players ever this guy is called bunch wide nasty what is this i don't know if i've seen this formation probably has good plays see i will say that's why i like fred warner though is because he does have mid zone ko and while that was, like, kind of, like, not a great throw, but, like, you get the idea of, like, that. that's where I'm, like, man, mid-zone K would be really nice. 
No, don't don't be PI. Wow, I thought for sure. In a game where it's so easy to get uh, PI or whatever, I thought that was just the most obvious PI ever. I genuinely wouldn't have been upset by that one. That one felt that one felt deserved. Let's user this guy for a sec. What's coming? No, got bagged. Oh, we suck. We suck. Oh no, he sucks. He sucks. He sucks. He sucks. He sucks. Good D. Fourth and ten. Let's go. Get off the field. Let's win our Super Bowl, baby. Let's win our. No way you're punt. Okay, I was gonna say no way you're. <laughs> if he punts, that 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 would have meant we were gonna be here for a while. Like that's what that punt screamed. And let me let me punt down two possessions in the first quarter. All right, I'm gonna cheat and put a vert hook on the right side, so I don't have a flat on the right. Instead, I have a vert hook, and. Good D. Good D. Let's see. I'm going to pause and just see if he quits out. Because this is a tough spot to be in for him now. Okay. Let's go one play. One play. One shot. One touchdown. Mm. Ah. Ah. Can this fake please work one time? Oh, it might. We might have it. We might have a blue pass. Oh, cheat me. This is slightly toxic, but it's time. Come on. Pop it up. Oh, I'll go get it. Mine, 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 mine. Ah. Good, mine. Pitch it. Come on, Ben Simmons. Get out of there. Get out of there, Ben. Ah. That might be... That might be it for the kid. Oh, he paused. Is that GG's, brother? Is it G's? Come on, pause. Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? Do we get to rip some trophy packs in a minute? There we go. GG's, GG's, GG's. Trophy packs, boys. Let's rip them. Let's rip them. We got 93 off rip. That's pretty good. What is this? What is this? A little spicy. A little spice. Come on. Give me another one, man. Give me a 97. Right here. 97. 91. Okay. Let's go. Next trophy pack. I think there's five totals. So that's our first one. And I think we get a red zone, too. Boom. Crappy. 91. We want more. I want more. 92. Dang. This was not hitting like the other one. That's okay. But heat it up. Heat it up. Come on. Give me it. Give me it. Okay. I don't want really anything right there. There we go. This is the money maker right here. Okay. Not really. Ooh. Yup. Snow globe. Snow globe. 93. That would go for something. I don't know what. I'm In my head, the 93s go for like 80K. I don't know if that's true or not. 94 though. That's got to be at least 100K. Rudy four. Oh, golden ticket. Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Okay. Okay. And then we got a movie star monster mash. 89. Okay. That was, that was bad. I can't. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I need I need something better than that. Okay, movie star monster mash. Here we go. Part two. Radio Shack. <sighs> Damn. Uh. Okay. Radio Shack. Radio Shack's in the chat. Oh 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 oh. Riley, ninety two. That was our five. We opened five of them. Yeah. We have a touchdown pack now. I got a fantasy pack or a, a uniform pack. Twenty five thousand uncommon coins. Uh, coins are common around these parts, man. Let's just say that. Let's just leave, let's just, I'll just leave you with that right there, boys. Come on. Oh, Red Rover, Red Rover. Nope. Snow Globe. Nope. AKA. Nope. AKA. Nope. Oh, Radio Shack. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. 90. Okay, Amani Hooker. That's actually not bad for this. 86. Okay, I don't know if those were good or bad. What can we get from this? We can get... Is there uh, any kind of lions here? Any kind of lions? Any kind of lions? No lions. Okay, we'll go. What else? I actually really like the Bengals, I think. Yeah. All right, boys. You enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. It's free, and it genuinely helps me out as a creator a ton. It really does. So thank you. See you in the next one.